Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and today I'm here to share with you my favorite method for making flying geese blocks. You're going to learn all the tips and tricks to make a perfect flying geese unit every single time. If you love quilting, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you a ruler that I use that makes perfect flying geese blocks so simple and very fast and easy and accurate every single time. It's called the block lock ruler and it comes in a whole bunch of different sizes. I'm demonstrating with the three by six inch finished today because it's a bigger block and I'll be able to more easily show you how to utilize this great ruler. You're going to start like with most flying geese blocks and you're going to have a background rectangle and a um, square that you're going to use for this part of the block. Um, now let me show you how to get started using the ruler. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let me let you know that the Block Lock Flying Geese Ruler comes in all different sizes. These are just a few of them. I keep the ones on hand that I use the most frequently in different quilts. It's super easy to use, and so we'll get started. When you use the Flying Geese Block Lock Ruler, the first thing you're going to do is start out just as you normally do with a rectangle and a square. And you're going to draw a diagonal line with a pencil um, from corner to corner on the wrong side of the square. I usually use a ruler and a pencil, draw the line. Um, then you're going to sew just inside that line. Um, a little bit on the line, a little bit outside. You don't want to sew out here. That'll make your flying geese unit less accurate. And once you've sewn that, you will press it out and um, there's actually, you're going to trim a quarter inch past the seam allowance. Now save this part that you've trimmed because you can use it to make a half square triangle. Once you have your unit like this, you're going to repeat the step on this side. And so what you're going to do is you're going to sew, just like you did the first time, another square right sides together, sew just inside that line that you've drawn and you're going to again press it out. Now this is where we get to use the ruler. And what you're going to do is the ruler has little grooves that will line up with your seam allowance. And you're going to, oh first, need to trim this. Okay, and there again, you have another section that you can use for a half square triangle unit later. Okay, so after you've trimmed, your unit will look like this on the back. Then you're going to put the flying geese block lock ruler on it, and you're going to trim the first two sides. And you'll notice sometimes you get just really small little slivers that you've trimmed but this is what's going to make your block perfectly accurate. You can flip your block and you can trim the remaining two sides. And there you have a perfectly pieced flying geese block. This is exactly a quarter inch so that when you sew this unit into your quilt, um, this point will not get cut off. The side points won't get cut off. They're perfect. It's just a, a really, really terrific method for making these units. This post is not sponsored anyway. I've just been using these rulers so frequently and I've talked about them so much on the blog that I thought it would be great to film a video with them. I hope you enjoyed today's flying geese tutorial. This really is my favorite method now for making flying geese units. I just wanted to show you quickly um, in my family farm row quilt has a lot of flying geese in it but I used this method which made it very easy and all the points are just perfect as you can see. 
Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for stopping by.